2020 has brought along with it many challenges. And as a student, I've seen firsthand how these challenges affect students in the world. In this video, I'm gonna talk about three things that I do in order to stay organized when school is completely online. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Steven and I am a first year dental student. But I have to say when I was accepted into dental school last December, I pictured my first semester of dental school looking a lot different than it has. And of course the reason for that is the coronavirus pandemic, which has changed pretty much everything. But for me, it's changed the way I approach school entirely. So I wanna keep this video pretty quick, but I'm gonna show you three apps that I use in order to go from day one of a test period, basically, to test day itself. Naturally, when you're completely online, the challenge is on you to take it from the beginning of a test period all the way to test day. In physical school, you have a schedule that you follow, and sometimes you just sort of put it into autopilot and go to your lectures and not you don't really think about anything. But being online, your teachers basically give you a schedule and tell you to go ahead and do it yourself. And this can be overwhelming because on top of learning everything that we're tasked to learn, we have to try to figure out how to actually schedule our days and get everything done so that we're not behind. So with that brief background of the challenges discussed, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the computer and just show you the three things that I do to basically start preparing for tests and get ready for everything that's thrown at me in dental school. So as I mentioned, I wanna talk about three apps or three programs that I use in order to prepare for my dental school exams. So we'll jump right on in. So I'm gonna go right on into Safari and open up the first of these apps, which is Microsoft Outlook. Now Outlook is the email that my school, UTHSC, has us use. And I don't really have a whole lot of an opinion on it. It does the job, it's email. We all know everything there is to know about email at this point. But if I go up here to the top, there's going to be a calendar. And once I'm in this calendar, this side view of the calendar, I can click open calendar or expand. And that's gonna allow me to see the entire schedule in its entirety laid out for me. So I'll go ahead and make this bigger so that we can see it. And this is what a schedule will look like. This schedule was made by one of my classmates, Gabby. Within this, you can see all of the lectures that we're supposed to complete, the labs that we're supposed to attend or see online, and then whatever Zoom meetings may pop up here and there. And it doesn't necessarily contain everything. There's another document that Gabby distributes that has some more information on it about specific assignments and things. But this is where I'm gonna start when I start to schedule up my own test periods, basically. And I use the schedule in order to see the main dates. So when I see something like this, the histology practical, that's something that I'm going to then place into my own schedule, which I'll show you in a second, as just a large date, something that I need to know exists. And we will do that in just a second. This is another document that's important for me. This is the exams that we have in the semester. And basically this shows me all of our classes and how many questions are on each exam that we have. We do an interesting thing where we integrate all of our courses into the same exams. So that's kind of what this explains. But I also use this to get an idea what is on our exams. And I will use that when I go in and schedule my own schedule for the test period. With both my schedule in Outlook and my exam schedule, I'm going to move to an app that I absolutely love, and that is Notion. I've mentioned Notion in the past, but it's an amazing content management system that allows you to configure up really anything with their pretty intuitive tools. And all you have to do is learn how to type in a couple of different commands and you can do whatever you want. So as you can see here, I have this cool page made just for this fall semester in dental school. And you can do all sorts of customization to add photos, to add emojis to everything. It's super cool, it's super configurable, and that's one of the main draws to Notion. But you'll see here over on the side, I have what are called PAR and then the number, and these are how we reference our exams. We call them PAR tests. But just to kind of show you what one would look like, I'll go into PAR 4, and I'll show you how I do this. So this is basically the lineup of all of my lectures that I have to get, get through per class per exam. So as you can see here, this was PAR 4. It was a very large test and I have all of my biochemistry, my histology, dental morphology, operative, and pathobiology. Now, they're not all checked because sometimes I skip lectures, which is bad, but I end up making up for it when I go back through all of the content that I have. So this is sort of what it looks like, and I can show you how to make something like this, and I'll do that now. Notion is super easy to use, but this will be a basic tutorial. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this plus sign, and that's gonna add a row. I'm gonna hit page, 
And now I have a new page where I can do whatever I want. So I can say final exam. And if I wanted to add an icon, AKA emoji, I could do that. I could also add a cover if I'd like, but just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and hit slash. And that's gonna give me all of these options and I'll hit to-do list. Now I forgot actually to, um, I wanna do something else. I wanna make a title here. So I'll go heading three is fine. And then I'll just say histology. And then I can take this and move this above. So let's say this is our histology for this test. And we're gonna say muscle. So I can go ahead and outline the lectures that I have to get through. And after I go in and review each lecture and make my Anki cards, which I'll talk in a second, I can just click these checks and that shows me what I've done and what I still need to do. It's super simple, super easy, but that's the way that I keep track of my lectures. So another thing I do, which is more general, is in each one of these, I make a schedule, a study schedule. So as you can see right here for par five or fifth exam, I had a couple week, a week and a half planned out for how I was gonna get through my lectures. And this just shows you um, an example of, of notions inline tables that you can make. They're super easy, they're super intuitive, like everything else is in Notion. So back in my final exam page that I've made here, I'm just gonna go down, return a couple. I'm gonna hit slash, forward slash, and then I'm gonna type in the first couple letters of calendar. And that's gonna give me two options here. The inline calendar, which is what I'm gonna choose, is going to put my calendar on this page. And the full page calendar is going to allow for a redirect to another full page. So it's completely up to you how you do this, but I'm gonna select inline, and then I can just do something like this, study schedule. And this is just gonna be something that we can configure completely on our own, and I won't get too detailed on this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm basically going to open this up on one side, open this up on the other side. If you're interested how I so quickly move my windows around, it's an app called Magnet. Then I'm going to go back to my what would be this page again. So I have it open in both on both sides and I'm gonna look at all of my lectures. Now, as you can see on a normal test, there would be a ton of lectures here. So I'm just gonna go in here and basically start adding little cards or little sub pages to tell myself when I need to get through each lecture. So I can type in muscle here. I can also add tags to these. So if you'd like, you could put histology. And then if you had another one come around, you could put biochemistry or whatever course it's from. And then here, if you wanna put any information, you can, but basically I just use these for uh, a schedule and how to see what I'm supposed to do. So let's say tomorrow I was supposed to do muscle and then I'll also do cardiac tomorrow. And what I would do is I would figure out how many lectures I have, and then I would put them all into days and give myself enough time at the end of the period before the test to just have studying and not going through lectures and adding cards. But that's just sort of like how I would then make a schedule. I'll go back one more time and show you the last schedule that I used just for a couple, like a week or two, just kind of show you some of the lectures and how I did them. So also within the schedule, I have exams and other important events that are coming up. And that goes back to the schedule that Gabby makes over here. So I take those dates and put them here as well. And as you can see here, I was finished with going through my lectures on the 10th and I didn't have my exam until the 17th. So all of this time here was actually just studying my Anki cards that I had made. And that brings us pretty seamlessly into our next app, which is Anki. Now that we've scheduled everything up and we have days set up to go through our online lectures, we need to actually take notes or make some content out of the lectures themselves. And the way I choose to do this is something I talk about a lot nowadays, and that is Anki. So I'll go ahead and open that up. I recently made a video specifically about Anki and how I use it. So if you're interested in checking that out, it'll be linked right above. And this is what my Anki looks like. I recently just downloaded a master deck from a friend of mine who is a beast and just makes a ton of cards. And so that's what this is. Once I'm in the Anki, this is what I'm gonna do every day of my test period. I'm basically gonna see what do I have to do today. So for example, my schedule over here told me that I have to do cardiac and muscle today. So I would go to those lectures on Blackboard, which is our university website. I would find the lecture and then I would basically take the lecture and the points into Anki, which I talk about in that last video. And that's really it. So as I said, those are three different apps that I use in order to schedule everything up and to get organized before a test. I'll also just say that everybody works differently and everybody has different preferences when it comes to school. So these may not be the exact apps that you use, but something like this is a good system to keep you organized and to reduce the amount of stress that you deal with on the front end of 
how do I schedule everything up, and how do I get prepared for these exams. With the help of these three apps, my exam periods are completely scheduled up. I don't even have to think about it. I sit down every day, I see what I'm supposed to do, and I do it and it's just made life a lot easier. So that's pretty much it guys for this video. If you're interested in similar content, I've put out a bunch of videos recently about stuff that I'm doing and my experiences in dental school and outside of dental school. In the comments down below, leave what your favorite scheduling app or favorite scheduling method is. A lot of people have physical planners and they write down all of their to-dos and that's something that I've experimented with. I end up preferring being on the computer but let me know in the comments what you like to do to stay organized and to stay scheduled up. Once again, my name is Steven. My Instagram is right here. And if you're interested in checking out any other videos, there'll be a couple linked here on the screen and the rest are in my channel. But good luck with everything. Good luck dealing with online classes. And hopefully we can all get through this thing together. I'll see you all next time.